Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6 of our Ottawa Senators Rebuild. In the last episode, we got all the way up to the trade deadline of year 2. And things are going awfully rough for the Senators in the NHL, which is fine. We're in line to get the first overall pick, which is Shane Wright this year, which I'm completely okay with. This year is the last year of our team being god-awful because we're about to make some huge jumps forward in progression with this franchise. The AHL team, however, is doing everything I wanted it to. They're in second place in the division. Looks like they're going to go on a playoff run. And that's phenomenal. So everything has been going the way that I wanted to go, but we're going to go through the trade deadline here, see if we can't move some of the prospects that are probably not going to pan out, um, as well as Murray and maybe even Nick Paul. So we'll take a look at that, and then we'll sim through the rest of the season on this episode and see where we end up. Guys, thank you for everyone that has commented on this series. I love it. Make sure you keep doing it. I love the interaction. All right, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so like I said, we are at uh, about four days from the trade deadline. Here is what our trade block looks like. Nick Paul, Zub, Gannett, and uh, Matt Murray. We'll see um, if we get any offers on these guys. Like uh, Nick Paul, I mean, he's not going to resign with us, and he really isn't going to progress, which is okay. And then Murray, obviously, with that big, high, huge contract, we're going to have Jasper Walsett in the NHL very soon. Um, but yeah, so our team not doing very well. We are in uh, last of the league, which again, this year, completely okay with. But we are going to go ahead and sim into the trade deadline and see maybe there's a prospect for a team um i don't know we'll see uh, we'll see what happens we sim through the bruins we lose that one uh josh brown did renew his contract with us chris tierney also renewed his contract he's going to be our fourth line center for the next little while logan shaw uh, Baden and logan brown kapaka as well and vitaly abramov so all the expiring contracts that i wanted to save they're all saved which is phenomenal so uh we're already set up so here we go and we'll take a look uh, what happens in year two's trade deadline as, man, Barkov is on the trade block. What do they want? A top two defender. Oh, no. Man, that would be pretty swell. He doesn't fit anything, though. Oh, that's tough. I mean, we definitely have the pieces to, uh, hmm. him not fitting is actually, when was he scouted last? Because if he was scouted, nah, he was scouted recently. That's tough. Okay, why do they want to move on from Barkov? What a, man, the sim is hilarious. The Ottawa Senators apparently is on the trade block when he's not, so win EA. Uh, there's also Seth Jones. We don't really need any more f defensemen. We're kind of we're kind of capped on that. Um, all right, so nothing uh, nothing really stands out to me here. We'll see if there's any guys that just want to be traded. Um, we'll take a look here at um, first. We'll see if we can get anything for Paul because he actually has some value. Um, we'll go through his the fifty contracts. The Bruins want to, and we'll see. Maybe we can get a fourth. Oh, well, we think we can get. I think we can do a little bit better than that. We can't do a second, so that doesn't fit. Let's see. Um, we could do. Ooh, the Sabers, and they're not doing very well. A third. I'm mm, okay with that. And they took it. Excellent. Love to see that. Okay. So again, he was in the AHL. Nothing really. Uh, you know, that's. Uh, we're not really losing anything there. There's also a couple other players that were not really being used, like. So, Max sense Matt, wow, I don't even know how to say that. Gannett, uh, 64 overall, medium, 7th defenseman, 20 years old, is only 64. Um, we can just try and get rid of him, but I don't know if anyone's going to want him. Like, I doubt we could even get a 7th for him. Uh, yeah, he, there's no trade block that wants him, so we'll just take a look here. Maybe we can, maybe we can get a 7th, who knows, who's to say? Mm, I would take one again. All right, we took it, perfect. Any other guys? Again, let's take a look at the draft picks we have. So we have our first. We have Tampa's second, uh, Tampa's third, and then we have really nothing in the middle here for this upcoming draft. So I would love to get another second, maybe one more first as well. As there's a, uh, I don't know. We don't really need it. We just need r r right. So if you know, we're gonna get him. We are gonna do everything we can, um, absolutely, to try and get him. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is looking for Murray, and they want him, but. I'm going to have to take something back, at least in an expiring contract. 
Is there any other goaltenders? Corpus Salo right here. Like, this would be perfect. When is his contract? He's got one year remaining. Like, this would be kind of a nice one to do. 85. Although, he's only 85 overall. I wonder what he wants in a deal back, though. Or maybe... Hmm. Let's see. Kadobin, two years left. I still think we might be, like, two years away, though. So, I wonder if we go to Columbus and we take Corpus Salo and we grab him... Yeah, but he won like yeah, he's got a lot of trade value. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. I think we you know what? I think we're gonna move Murray in the offseason. So nothing really crazy here. Um we're gonna back out and uh, again, we did everything that we needed to do. Uh let's take a look now at uh the trades around the league as John Moore is being placed on waiver. Actually, hmm. What's his contract? Two years remaining at that? No thanks. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see if there is any, uh, what the big deals were. Let's take a look. All right, so it looks like the Sharks traded, got a second-round pick and Marco Scandell from the Blues. Any other big names? Philip Deneau and a 20, 000, or 2023 seventh-round pick from the Islanders as CBJ grabs uh, Deneau. Hmm, okay, so Deneau was on the, Isl or was on the Islanders. Anyone else? Uh, I don't see any big names being moved. Boone and Jenner, uh, now a Dallas star. Corpus Salo is now an Edmonton Oiler. That's actually a pretty big acquisition for them. Washington acquires Ryan Pollock and a third-round pick. Wow. The New York Islanders got their first and a third. Not a bad haul there for Washington. And that looks to be the, pretty much the big ones. Jordan Everly, uh, now a Buffalo Sabre, so rip his the rest of his career. And hmm, just a bunch of picks. Maybe. Wow, Jalmerson and Stetcher to the Boston Bruins. Nick Letty, now Montreal Canadian. Okay, okay, for a couple of uh, a couple of prospects there. Tomash Hurdle is a Arizona Coyote. Okay. Wow, all right, so that seems like a stupid move for them, but nonetheless, here we are. Jason Zucker is now a Florida Panther, and that's pretty much it for the deadline. All right, guys, so we can go ahead and sim the basically the rest of this season and see how it plays out. The AHL, again, we are doing very well in the AHL. Actually, I want to take a look as now Paul is gone, so we do need to, yeah, we need to change these lineups. So I will go ahead and edit these lineups real quick. All right, guys, so we are ready to sim through the rest of February. We'll move on here, and then we'll take a look at who's leading uh, the league in scoring and whatnot. We'll go all the way through to April 1st and see where we land as hopefully our AHL team can make the playoffs as that would be pretty sweet for us there. All right, 26, 44, and 8 as we are well about six points up on second last with Stutzla having 56 points in 78 games, so right along where he was last year in terms of his point production. Uh, the AHL, we have locked up a playoff spot, so that is good. We are going to go ahead and sim through the last few days here. We beat the Leafs, and we'll finish out the rest of the season again. It looks like against two against Boston. As Stutzla sitting on 59 points. He does get 60. Okay, so we're going to sim to the rest of the regular season here, and we'll take a look at how... The uh, the rest of the league did as Stutzla. Now we'll do a little bit year in review, as obviously we finish in dead last again. Completely okay with that. The entire league, the Blackhawks winning the President's Trophy, as they had 119 points, and we are all the way down at the bottom with 66. Wow, we just finished below the Los Angeles Kings. We'll see if we win the draft lottery, but probably not. Um, you know, that's just how it goes. Stutzla, in terms of our team, he led the team in scoring. Right behind him was Kachuk. Batherson had 53 points, actually. That's pretty solid. I didn't think he'd have that many. Dougie Hamilton with 51. Uh, Colin White was a minus 15, but 47 points in 82 games. Dadnov with 47. Shabbat only had 42 points there. We want to see more out of him, but it is what it is. I mean, the scoring down. Negative 39. Josh Norris with 37 points in 82 games. That is, wow, yikes. Kurashev at 27 or 26 points. So, yeah, not very good there in terms of goaltenders. Murray got up to 901. Who's to say? There it is. All right, let's take a look at around the league now and the rest of the league. And we'll take a look at the AHL. Is that still rounding out the rest of the season? All right, the entire league. Ovechkin at 108 years old, had 102 points. 
And I'm going to assume he led the league in scoring as well. That is just absolutely nuts. Eichel with the Buffalo Sabres at the 99. Crosby, Kuznetsov, Carlson with 94 points. That's incredible. For rookies, Cole Caulfield looks like he might win. Yeah, he's going to win the Calder as he is 10 goals up on Turcotte with Raymond. Oh, and Tippett right there. Valeno, Sylvester. So Willie Sylvester only had 36 points in 82 games as a rookie, as an 84 overall rookie. That's nuts. So, um, okay. I mean, it is what it is. We'll take a look at the playoff tree. Who's playing who? As the Jets and Avalanche, Blackhawks and Canucks. Then we've got the Knights and Ducks, Oilers and Blues. On the other side, we've got... The Carolina Hurricanes, Flyers, Capitals, and Montreal Canadiens. Then Toronto and Detroit, which just seems really weird to me. And then Tampa and the Rangers. So that is the NHL for you. And we'll take a look now at uh, one thing I do want to look at is the progress report. So this will tell you how many points they earn throughout the year. And Logan Brown in 16. He moved up to an 82. We have Kachuk who had 14, still an 88. Stutzla an 87 with only plus four. Bernard Docker went up to an 81 with uh, seven there. And as did Brandstrom, who's now an 84. So he's starting to become quite good as we need uh, another good right-handed defenseman. We might move him over to the left side and make him a left defenseman, though, as well, because he does shoot left-handed. I don't really want two lefties there. Uh, in the system, uh, Xavier Borgo, who was that kind of gem prospect we got, he was a medium top six at 19. He's now up to a 64 overall. Uh, Atu Ratti now up to a 71 in his his first year in pro hockey. And then we've got Jesper Wallstead, who's now a 74. Sokolov all the way up to a 74. Remember, he was a 69. Nice. Also our captain. Shout out to Igor if you are watching this video. Ridley Grieg is now a 73, so he is going to play in the AHL, hopefully, if he's able to. Reinhardt's a 69. Eric Engstead, 63, probably not going to play for us ever. Luke Hughes is 76, as he was our first round pick. Sanderson, in the last year of minor hockey, he has got uh, 70, or he is a 78 overall now, so he's definitely going to make the jump because he's going to play in the NHL regardless, more than likely. So, And that is going to do it there for our minor league system. So, here we go. We still have some things left for the AHL as we have locked up a playoff spot. So we'll sim through the rest of the season here and see who we play as, okay, we are going to take on the Cleveland Monsters. Okay. All right. We'll take a look at how they shape up as overall. I wonder what we are overall. 74, 72, 75, and then 73, 73, and 71. So we do have a slight advantage, advantage sorry, uh, over the Cleveland Monsters. All right, so let's back out here. And let's just do a little edit of the lines real quick and see if there's any adjustments I want to make. Not really, I don't think. Akil Thomas still at the second line. So now up to a 75 overall, which is nice at 22 on defense. Hughes and Th Lassie Thompson now a 73. No, I'm completely okay with everything here. In terms of our goaltender, we've got Decord and Net. So I think that's all right. So here we go. We are going to go through and sim. Uh, we'll take one quick look. Actually, actually, we'll do that afterwards. 59 points for Abramov. We are just going to sim through real quick here um, and see if we make it on to the next round. We win 2-1. Okay. All right. 2-1 in our first game of the playoffs. Looks like Luke Hughes is two points. Second game, we're going to get shut out there in game two. Game three, we lose that one 3-1. Now down 2-1 in the series. Need to win this one to get back even. And we do. It's 4-3 now as it looks like we forced a Game 5, and we'll do a quick sim here just to get kind of a better glimpse of it. Through the first period, it's Roy on the short... Wow, shorthanded on the court. Through the second period, they blow up Stenland. I can't even say that name, and Simpson uh, as they lead 4 nothing now, and it looks like Amadio is going to get the one goal, and that is how it is going to go. Short-lived playoff run there for us. As uh, we go down to the Barons in the first round. But nonetheless, I'm still okay with it. We made the playoffs. I'm all right. Again, this year was a wash. It's now moving on to the next year. That's really important. But the one thing that we do have to do is focus on the draft now coming up. So Shane Wright, obviously who we are going to target. That is who we are going to get. We are going to move everything. Even if we don't win the lottery, we're going to move our picks, whatever, so that we get Shane Wright in the first year. And we're probably going to put him right into the NHL. But after that, we'll see if there's any other decent ones as we move along, because, you know, uh, again, so like Colin Drury, someone like that, a late first rounder, we probably might, we, we'll, we'll see if we can go up and get another second round pick. I'm not sure, but 
Uh, again, we'll see if we can't find any uh, top uh, top end guys here. So I'll go ahead and do the draft class and then see uh, see where we're at as we've got to do one more round of scouting. All right, so we've taken care of the last round of scouting, and we're pretty much all set to sim through to the draft now and sim through the rest of the playoffs. We've basically taken care of everyone that... Uh, the only people expiring are, again, this prospect, Parker Kelly, who's not going to turn anything. Angstrand, same kind of situation. And then Doust, same kind of thing here. So we pretty much are all locked up. Like, we have done all of the uh, heavy lifting here. So we can go ahead and sim to the draft and see what happens here. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? And then we'll go through and uh, check out all of the awards. It's a uh, tough year for these Senators, but this is where things get interesting. This is where it is the most fun. Is the Chicago Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup? Okay. All right. Fair enough. And um, all right. And the Providence Bruins win the Calder Cup. So the Blackhawks. All right. Interesting. Now let's take a look at who won the draft lottery as we had the best odds. Mm, and it usually never plays out like that. Oh, my goodness. We move all the way down to four. Calgary goes from seven to one. Los Angeles stays at two, and the Islanders go from six to three. So now we've got to find a way to go from fourth to one to get right. But we are going to move heaven and earth to do it. So don't worry, guys. We are going to find a way. As Marlo, my man, my favorite player growing up as a kid, he retires with 1867 and 1248 in terms of points. Gabrick's gone. Steen, Jokin, and Steen. Wow, Steen. Crazy. And we'll take a look at goaltenders. Chad Johnson, Fast, and Pogi, ex-Leaf great. As, yeah, no one for us, obviously. And we're ready uh, to move on now. Oh, man, I can't believe that, man. David Backus, now available coach for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Justin Braun, ex-Shark, and Valtteri Philbel are now available to be scouts. I don't believe anyone else, have any of our guys have retired. But we'll take a look. Nope. Duh. Oh, Belleville. Reasoner, Connor Reasoner retired, so we do need a new coach for there, but that's fine. Take one more look at the draft class. So Shane Wright, that is who we are going to get with Sherov, Timmins, and Lambert right there, and Loktyanov, another high elite. And then down in the middle of the draft, we've got uh, Juka Koskin, and we don't need any defensemen. So we are not drafting a defenseman at all in this with any of the picks that we do have. So here we go. All right, we'll take a little more look at the trade, uh, our trading block. As, yeah, it's now it's all back to what it was. Man, I hate when it just auto-does it, even though I've set it to not do that. Okay. There's really no one that I want, so... Or want to get rid of, so that's okay. We have got to make, uh... Yeah, we have got to make some trades here. We are gonna get pick overall, so here we go. The Calgary Flames, we are getting this pick. We are moving in heaven and earth. If we've got to move next year's first rounder, I don't care. First round pick, bang. I would like to keep our second. I'll try the third. I doubt it. And that's not going to work. Okay, so do we have a second next year? We have our second and the Blackhawks second. We'll try the Blackhawks second. That one's not going to work. Okay, I would love again to stay into this year's draft. We'll move next year's third. And still reject it. Okay, so now we're going to try to move... Let's move our second next year, not the Blackhawks. That one's still not there. Okay. Okay. We'll try both seconds next year. Still rejected. What about our third this year? And that's rejected. And one more third next year as well. This is actually getting insane. No, they are absolutely dead set. Okay, I really don't want to move our... Okay, all right. So here's what's going to happen. We will go with three second round picks and our first. Still rejected. Wow. Wow. And a third. Okay, now we've got to move on. Do we really move our first? Oh, that's wow. That is insane. Okay, now we're getting into dangerous territory here. What an unbelievable... Uh, okay, well, that's what we get for not winning the lottery. As uh, Well, say what you want about the draft lottery. Shane Wright, welcome to these Senators. An 80 overall medium franchise. 
as uh, now we don't have a pick until pick 57. Let's take a look at the rest of the draft class. That is frustrating. Okay, is there anyone else <sighs> down near the middle? You could Koskinen. in. Three years out, Owen Nolan. Scheme fit. Mm. That does fit our scheme as well. After that, uh, is there any other great picks here? Oh, wow. Okay, Colin Drury at the end of the... Oh, it's another defenseman. Um, Which we don't need. Okay, is there any other forwards? Another defenseman. Top nine forwards. Nicholas Moeller. You know what? I really don't think there's anyone else that's super... You know, amazing to go out and get. In terms of gems and bus. Wow, there's no gems, just tons of bus here. Hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah, we can't move into the rest of the round here because the only other players like we'll take a look at wow, look at this though. We have a ton of that. Look at the value here. Sanderson too. Raddy's a 73, Batherson, like, we have a ton of trade value. <laughs> Boys, like I said, the first two years, it was tough. Awfully ugly, but not anymore. All right, I, you know what? I think we're okay with simming the round. Let's sim the round and see where we're at. We'll take a look at how round one ended. So Green Tree was an 84 overall medium elite. That's okay. I'm all right because we got Shane right. That's fine. Sheriff, 82 medium elite. Timmons, 82, medium elite. Look at this draft class. Lambert was a 76 overall medium elite. Guards was an 82, medium elite. Look at all these medium elites. My goodness. Savoy. Let's see. Karkner. Koskinen was in 65 overall medium elite, so he was a couple years away. Which is fine. Petnin, 63 overall medium elite. Did anyone take... Uh, I don't think so. No, that means... Whoops. That means... Take a look at the draft class. A Drury is right here for the pickings. But we really don't need him. <laughs> the next other high-rated defenseman here. He's NHL ready. Michael Janssen. Oh my... That is a high overall rated player. What do we have to trade? Do we have... When's our second? That's our second right there. You know what? Okay. We're going to sim this pick. Goligoski. What did Drury end up being? 65 defensive defenseman, low elite. All right. I don't want to do this again where we get into this problem. So he is pretty far down we'll go like three three more picks and we'll see these guys don't want to trade their pick so who wants to move their pick the blue jacket so we'll go back one more all right let's see if we can get this pick and we'll give our second or the uh, sorry the lightning second and what else Ugh. and maybe the rest of these and we do okay so we move up we're not gonna have a lot of picks in this trap but honestly we have a lot of prospects now that are signed and we're gonna get our guy here another defenseman but like that's wild to me nhl ready i'm curious to see what he ends up being that's an 80 overall low elite okay yes sir in the second round okay now we don't have another pick for a long time is there any other high elites left i don't think there is we've got sokol <laughs> we get sokolov it's igor's cousin um three years out is a right winger and cs is 60 nice that's a little bit he's only a three-star low elite is there any other four stars that we know of so like stromberg <laughs> nicholas moeller he's medium top nine but there's really no other phenomenal players in his draft so I think we're all right here. We can just sim through and see what we get. You know, we really don't need to make any other moves. So we'll sim to the rest of our picks. And we'll go ahead and make this pick in the seventh round. And just see if there is anyone 
that was somewhat scouted. Ethan Turnbull, five years out at 18 years old. That is going to be low rated. Yeah, nothing here. It's awfully uh, barren, as they say. You know what? I wonder if uh, we can find a trade. <laughs> Let's get rid of our uh, our two picks here. And six round next year. A fifth round next year. Dude, are we serious? Calgary Flames were awful. I'll take that. Bang. All right, guys. I mean, we didn't get a lot of picks, but we got the right ones. Okay. What a draft. So we get Shane Wright, and I'm going to say it's Johnson. Even though I think it's, yeah, it's got to be Johnson. And now we're in the re-sign phase, but we've basically already re-signed everyone. Uh, now the coaching staff did have someone ret retire. And we'll take a peek as well in terms of just like coaches out there. Although Ritu really did fit things well. Like he fit really well. But we'll uh, we'll take a look. In terms of scouts, uh, again, we'll, if, if there's any other, you know, good, good replacements. Like we want A-plus scouting. Obviously, that's what we want. All right, so our AHL goalie coach needs to be re-signed, and we'll take a peek. He's an A minus, so like, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. A minus coaching. You know what? Yeah, you know what? We'll re-sign him. He did well, and if there's better, we can always just get rid of him. Okay, and then here are all the scouts that are expiring. Okay, so the ones that are A pluses, we need to keep. So. Um, we'll take a look here. A plus, we do need to resign. So Carl Coburn. Who else? A plus here. So we'll see if we can't get more out of a Jorg Ulrich. QMJHL A plus. But after that, I mean, we might not like the overalls. Like this is what matters the most, really, guys. So. Well, Bang. Wow, Selma Bang. What a great name. Selma Bang. We need to bring her back. I'm just wondering if we can get some better ones. Yeah, we'll see. We might be able to get better ones. So, that's fine. All right, let's go into the resign phase, guys. Again, we pretty much did everything. I really don't think there's even anything to discuss here. Um, all expiring. It's Kelly, Dowson, and Engstrand. That's it. Uh, we'll take a look quickly because we only have 43 contracts. Take a look at some of the A or the, some of the picks. So Lysel, uh, we're gonna keep. We're gonna we're gonna not sign just yet because you know Fabian Lysel is not really gonna make the AHL team. Uh, Angstrand's gone. Borgo one more year is fine. Kelly's gone. Uh, Ratsy is a 73 overall medium elite forward, and I am okay to offer him a pro contract uh, to Ratsy. Anyone else? All right. Here's Shane Wright. Shane Wright, you're getting offered a contract. And I think we've got to offer Michael Johnson as one as well. Like, 100%. So, yeah. What a draft we had there. Like, that was phenomenal. What about in net? Jesper Wallstead is a 76 overall. We are going to sign him, and he's either going to play. Well, we'll figure out where we're going to play him, to be honest with you. Um, but where's Sanderson? He is now a 79, so perfect there. All right, so we're going to advance a day and see if everyone re or everyone signs. LeBlond, uh, okay, he signs as the goalie coach. What about our Coburn re accepts the contract renewal? Oh, no, Ulrich, okay. Demers, okay. All right, Selma Bang doesn't resign either. Michael Johnson signs, Wright resigns, Wallstead resigns, Ratty resigns. All right, so our uh, our scouts just don't want to resign. What is this? More money it is? Is that what you're looking for? Max money? Sure. Like the A A minus overall on a scouting staff is kind of key. The rest are all C's, so um whatever, you know, we can we can make do. Let's advance a day. And Selma Bang accepts. Perfect. We keep our only really, really good scout. And we're ready to go to free agency. So let's take a look. We'll hire, uh, we're going to hire some, some scouts real quick. And we'll take a look as we need uh, two more for the USA. 
And we've got... Okay, perfect. Actually, we'll take a look at Zach Rollins, though. Does he have... Yeah, everywhere is phenomenal. So we'll offer him more money. And the years he wants, we need two. So we will take a look at Matthew Audette. And he's an A everywhere. What about Eckford? A plus everywhere. So we will take him. See if we can get one more year out of it. Okay, that takes care of the USA. Wait, Europe. The OHL has three, actually. Uh, the Q only has two. Let's see if there's one in the Q. B minus, Leduc. Let's give Leduc the money he wants. As he's a B minus. Okay. And then Europe. Those are all Cs, as well as the Nordic region. Hmm. We already have three here, though. And they're all... All right, so we'll take a look at who is an available free agent. We have 12 mil in cap space. Everyone's re-signed. And Sean Couturier is available to be signed. Does he fit? He might fit. Braden Point also available at 10 million. Malkin wants seven. Darnell Nurse as well. So another couple of stud defensemen. Seth Jones Besser at 25. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of guys that want a ton of money. What about Net? Tuka Rask. So, guys, this is the year, like I said, that I really want to make the playoffs. Like, it has to happen. Um, and we've got a pretty solid squadron. Like, we need another right winger for the first line, for sure. And at 12 million, who should we grab? We can make a big free agent signing, and I'm okay to do that, to be honest with you guys. Uh, because we will move Murray's contract as well. It's just, who do we want to re-sign? It's got to be a sniper. Braden Point, playmaker. John Couture is going to be a two-way forward. I'm not signing Victor Olofsson. 11.3 million. That's insane. Just really not want anyone in free agency that I really like, though, is the, is the issue, guys. Any other good prospects? Actually, that would be something to look at. Bockfist wants a lot, but obviously he's... It's always good to go and check and see if there was any, like, un, any undrafted free agents that ended up being really good, but it doesn't look like there is. Top six, 22, Rasmus Sandin. Yeah, there isn't really. Okay. Well, that is going to uh, do it, guys. Let me know if you think we should re -sign, or sign anyone here. It's got to be a forward, and I, I don't know. Signing point would be pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie, as we do need someone, you know, a top-end forward here, and he does look like he fits. I think we're going to try and go after Braden Point here in year two. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, guys. And again, thank you for watching the series. It has been an awful, you know, it's been a blast so far doing it with you guys. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to go after Braden Point. We'll have to see. But this year, year three, huge year for us as we are going to make the playoffs. Hear me now. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I'll see you next episode. Have a good one.